So I'm back with week three of Inktober. Really starting to feel the pressure this week. I think I've had, towards the end of the week, I was feeling quite tired. I had some days when I really didn't feel that I was doing very well with my pictures. And it's a case of just pushing on and doing the best you can. So day 15 was Legend. And I chose to do Excalibur from King Arthur and the Legend of the Sword in the Stone. And that was quite fun to do. I think I've done better rocks in the past. I think it's just sort of making the best. I was trying to make it different to my previous rock pictures. So day 16 was wild. Now I enjoyed doing this. This is something I really like doing. I used to do a lot of just black and white pen pictures of flowers and plants. And this is the hedge bindweed. I think a lot of wildflowers are actually my favourite flowers and this is one I really remember from my walks in the countryside when I was a child and I couldn't resist the little ladybird there for a little splash of colour and I think that's possibly one of my favourites so far. Day 17 was ornaments and I thought a lot about this and then I decided to do my bottle of coloured sand. This is Allen Bay coloured sand and it just looked so boring on the page um, and I just thought, oh, do you know what, I'm going to cut it out and just stand it next to the bottle of sand and that's what I did. If you've ever been to the Isle of Wight you'll know that at Allen Bay they have lots of different colours for sand and it's a very popular tourist attraction to go and fill a bottle with sand and take it home with you. So that was ornament. Um, day 18 was misfit and this was really just you can put anything that doesn't fit so I did some balloons and I put a red balloon in the middle as a misfit pinky red and also this one turned out quite round so there's actually two misfits in that picture so that was just some colourful balloons that was using ink tense pencils that I then painted with water 19 slingshot uh, the word was sling, so I decided to do a catapult, and this is done entirely in ballpoint pen. I use ballpoint pen every day for my daily sketching, my little doodles, um, and it is tricky because it's quite unforgiving, so you have to be quite precise, and if you make a mistake, you just have to work with it. But you can get amazing ballpoint pen pictures, and of course, the ballpoint pens are cheap, everyone's got them. I tend to use the Paper Mate Ink Joy because the colours flow quite nicely with that. And today, just trying to get these right because I think I've gone out of synchronisation here somehow. Um, yes, here we go. Day 20 was tread and the only thing I could really think of was a tyre and this is a vintage tractor tyre from probably about the 1960s, 50s, 60s, maybe a bit older and it just reminded me of the tyres on the tractor that my granddad used to drive and also my father and I was fascinated by the tread prints in the mud or in the snow so that is all um, my best effort at doing a tyre. I found it quite difficult to get the treads and the shadows and I was getting really confused with it but um, I think overall it's turned out quite nicely. Now day 21 was treasure. Now I had a problem here with treasure. My first picture I was so unhappy with. I was using some metallic pens and they were just sinking into the paper. This is the paint on paper and I think it has some sort of coating on it and um, it does cause ink to bleed quite a bit. Well that can cause quite a nice effect when you're doing an ink drawing but it just didn't work for the metallic. You can see with the light on it that it is slightly shiny in places but I just was really unhappy with the picture. So I did it again without the metallic pens and this is the one I actually put up. And you can see that you can actually see the detail better. I'm not entirely happy with either one because I was getting quite tired and I should have done more detail on the chest and I just really couldn't be bothered to at the end of it. So it's a very simple one, treasure with a treasure chest. So I was quite disappointed with day 21. I mean, it's an, an okay picture and I think this is the whole thing of doing the daily pictures and the challenge of Inktober that it doesn't have to be a perfect picture. If you, you're, As I've mentioned before, you're very rarely going to be perfectly happy with a picture. There's always going to be something you want to change, something you're not entirely happy about. 
So I think it's just do the best you can at the time and you're just getting into the habit. Even with the tyre which turned out fairly well, I actually had three attempts at drawing this tyre. First one, the perspective was wrong. Um, I kept making the same mistake which I've actually made on this one as well but I've just decided to work with the mistake in the end and I know the mistakes there but possibly other people won't notice it. So this is what I was saying with, with the slingshot one, the catapult. Ballpoint pens, most people have them and just any old and cartridge paper is absolutely fine. You don't need thick paper for ballpoint pens and they're so easy just to doodle with. It is a little bit of a knack, as I mentioned before, but I think you get them brightly coloured, they're quite cheap, but I think don't go for the cheapest pens because they'll be quite maybe blobby or scratchy. Uh, these Inkjoy pens are fairly reasonably priced. They can smudge, so you do have to be quite careful with ballpoint pens that you don't smudge them. It's always a good idea to have a piece of paper underneath your hand when you're working and to work carefully so that you're not going over the lines. So if you work from the inside out of your picture and then don't be scared to, to move your paper around. I mean, I had to constantly, when I'm doing all my pictures, I'll be turning my paper always until I can get the best angle without leaning on the finished pieces. So we're coming into the last week. I personally am feeling absolutely exhausted. I know a lot of other people are as well. A few people I was following seem to have dropped out and disappeared, which is really quite upsetting that people are no, sort of aren't carrying through. But it is a challenge and it's not something that's compulsory. So if life gets in the way, you don't feel well, something's going on with your family or your job, then it's not compulsory to do a picture every day. You can catch up later, do a picture every other day, once a week. The whole idea of Inktober is just to have fun with it and to just draw every day. So as we um, have just started our last week here, we're working through our last week, we're coming right to the end now because I'm actually filming these a sort of week behind. So when I come back next time it will be with 10 days pictures because I'll do the final 10 days in one go and it's a good time for reflection of what you've learnt and how you feel and seeing how your art has improved over the course of the month or since last year or since the last year before. So we will see what happens but I think... Um, Last week I had some interesting prompts, there's one or two that are quite difficult and we're coming up to the, the 31st which is always my favourite because I always try to create a Halloween theme for the 31st so I will be producing a Halloween themed picture because you can't do a picture on the 31st and not have some reference to Halloween. So I will see you again next week and with the last 10 days of Inktober.